In previous tutorials, I've shown how to use QBCraft figures to make animations and how to use them in the Blender game engine. The QBCraft website at QBCraft.com has hundreds of characters that can be mapped relatively easily to Blender models. In this tutorial, I'll show you that you can use Inkscape, a free, open source, vector graphics package to make your own QBCraft characters. As a first simple example, I've made a Google Android character. In this file, I've mapped the Android template to a Blender model and I've used character physics so that the character will walk over the ramp in the Blender game engine. Going back to Inkscape, to modify the template, unlock the relevant layer, select a side, hold down Ctrl and press A to select all the sides, click red in the palette to change the fill colour and relock the layer, hold down the Ctrl key and zoom in with the mouse wheel, unlock the eye layer, make sure the eyes layer is selected, click the rectangle tool, draw a rectangle, click black on the palette, click the select tool, click the rectangle till you get the rotate handles and rotate the eye, drag to place the new eye over the old eye, click the duplicate button, click the flip horizontal button, drag or use the arrow keys to move the new eye over the old eye. Select the old eyes and delete them. File, save as, and I'm going to change the name to Android Angry and the type to PNG. Go back to Blender, select the Android's head, click the Material button, then click the Texture button, scroll down to the Image panel. At the moment the internal name for the image is Spider-Man. It doesn't make any difference but I'm going to change it to QB. Click the File Browse button, go to the folder where you have your Angry Android template, select and accept. The model is now linked to the new template. That's the end of the tutorial. I will do a tutorial that shows how to set up character physics in the Blender game engine. I will do a tutorial that shows how to set up a QBCraft template using Inkscape. You'll be able to access that tutorial at my website graphics.freemovies.co.uk. All the files used in this tutorial can be downloaded from my website blender.freemovies.co.uk. So thanks for watching and goodbye.